friends and your community or wonder what was being done to address them? The coronavirus may have put communal health on many minds in a different way, but its importance and how the status of the whole can affect the individual parts have always been critical. This week, you can help shape Sacramento County's wellness future. I'm joined now live by the county's public health officer, Dr. Olivia Casirier, and the senior director of local health policy for a public health advocate, Kula Koenig. Ladies, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. First, Kula, for anybody watching who maybe hasn't heard of public health advocates, kind of explain what it is and how it intersects with the county. Sure, so public health advocates is a public health organization that works with communities throughout California and at the state capitol to make sure that they are able to work on policies that make their lives better from a health perspective. And so um, our work with the county is exactly what we do is bringing in communities into policies and training them on how to be able to advocate for themselves. All righty, and why team up this way right now, Kula? It's so important that you include people in the decisions that you're gonna be making about them. So if we're gonna be making health decisions around what the priorities are to tackle some serious health issues in Sacramento County, it is imperative that Sacramentans are involved in figuring out what these priorities are. Alrighty, and Dr. Kassiri, some people are gonna hear the words community health improvement plan and think, wait, what? COVID's over, that's what they're working on now? I mean, COVID's not really over. And why is this so really beyond COVID? There are a lot of other issues that public health cares about that impact the community. And so over the last uh, six or 10 months, we have actually been doing what we call a health status assessment where we look at our own data, the death reports, the birth data, and then we also did surveys and focus groups to look at where our community is, what's the health status of our community. And we are at the point now where we want to get input from the community as far as what we want to uh, focus on in terms of infectious diseases, chronic diseases, environmental issues, and social issues. So it's really important for us to be able to hear from the community. Dr. Kassiri, the first discussion session you both are inviting everyone to will be this Thursday in the morning from 9 a.m. to noon. And you want the public's input, as you were talking about, to create that community health improvement plan. That's going to sound, you know, kind of overwhelming to some folks. How do you start planning for the health of an entire area? You mentioned environmental factors. Is that like talking about emissions that may be inhaled in a certain area? Or what are we really talking about here? Uh, when we talk about environmental factors, we're talking more about how our environment, both the built environment, the air quality, how that impacts health. So we look at uh, conditions like uh, um, how many people in an area have asthma, the uh, hospital rates of certain diseases like obesity, and how that is impacted by where people live. So all of those are important factors in looking at um, the, the lives of people and what we need to focus on in order to make sure that everybody has a chance to have a healthy life. Kula, you all will be welcoming ideas this Thursday morning and then again next Tuesday during an evening session for those who work or have other commitments during the day. What is it that you hope comes out of this effort and how soon do you think there may be a concrete plan of action? Yeah, I really hope that people come in and they get to learn a little bit also, right, about um, just some of the uh, priority health areas that, that have already come up. But then they also get to weigh in. In my experience, here's what I'm seeing in my community. They get to say, this is actually a big problem. This is how I think we can prevent this. And this is what I think that Sacramento County should focus on, right? And so what's gonna happen is when you have people at the table who are impacted and they can share their experience and what's important to them, you can actually be more effective. And so that will lead Sacramento County to be more effective in addressing these public health issues. And Dr. Casirier, COVID is something that touched, you know, everybody, be it at your workplace, in your homes, at your church, something like that. Is there another issue in Sacramento County that's top of mind for you right now? Is it, I don't know, hypertension or what is it that's something else that really is affecting most people that maybe everybody's not talking about? There are several issues that we're looking at uh, for the older population. We're looking at uh, rates of Alzheimer's. We've seen a large increase in, in the deaths due to Alzheimer's or related to Alzheimer's. 
We are also looking at overdose deaths. We have had a lot of the younger population impacted by that. We look at other things like um, uh, access to healthy food. And uh, again, uh, all of those are important things that we need to look at, obesity rates. And uh, of course, homelessness will mm -hmm. come up because that's been a top issue in a lot of people's minds. Definitely. And ladies, before we're out of time, we're going to put up the registration information for these sessions on the bottom of our screen. Kula, what would you say, what would you want to say to the person who's out there thinking, I don't have a medical background, I don't have anything to contribute <laughs> to this, I'm just a banker, I'm just a grandma, what would you say to them? You're the exact person that we want because you live in Sacramento County. You know what it's like to breathe the air. You know what it's like if you maybe can't walk somewhere because of the way the streets are built. You know where there's, where there's like if there's no hospital near you, right? You know where it's like if you can't get healthy food, right? You know what it's like to live in your environment. You are an expert on your life, and we want to hear about your expertise in these community meetings. All righty, ladies, thank you so much. Again, that information will be at fox40.com so people can find the link to register and we'll be checking back in to see what you do here from the community. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.